In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a print and cut of PNG images that have a transparent background and then also have a contour cut around the outside versus the uh, the actual cut line that follows along the printed line. So here I've imported um, all of these different animals and again they're all PNG files with the transparent background and a quick way to verify that you know they are uh, transparent is to come over to your document panel and turn on your show page color and then have a color set. As you can see I don't see any white boxes at all around any of these images so every one of these and again I use the file import button up here to import all of these PNG files. Okay, so the one thing you can do if you're going to be doing this frequently um, is to set the default shadow size to the shadow size that you always use because a lot of times you know you do lots of different designs and you're always using the same shadow size. So that's available under Edit, Preferences, and then click on the Edit tab and then right here this default shadow size this is where you can set it and when you set this shadow size this is the automatic size it's going to have in the effects shadow window as well as on the style panel so I'm going to set this let's say I want to use 0.08 all right, and then I just type that in and click on OK. So the next step is to get your shapes arranged, you know, on the page, you know, however you want them. And of course, it's a good idea to turn on show print margins and show reg marks so that you can see the available room that you have. Also, regarding the reg mark settings, uh, let me just come over here to cutter, cutter settings. Um, you can make these, you know, you have certain limits within, you know, say your mark size and your in your boundaries and stuff. So I use 0.5, but then I'm pretty careful about how I set uh, the initial origin. You can use, you know, 0.5, 0.75, 1, 1 and a half, whatever mark size you want. Um, again, I tend to use small. I never change the mark thickness. And then the mark inset, you know, the default is around the design. But if you want to really maximize your space on the page, then you can mark um, print or page. Now I use print bounds because I, I you know, I set my uh, document area equal to my printout. I just think it's easier just to kind of see exactly how things are going and where things are going to print if I do that. But again, you have the, the option to use either print or page bounds. So I've got print bounds and then I use 0.5 centimeters. Again, I give myself plenty of room and that allows you, you know, to move your, your, ed, your shapes, you know, closer to the edges if you need to. Um, one more thing you you know and I've mentioned this before in some of my tips is that your print whatever your print image is all right it needs to be you know which would be the you know the calendar, it needs to be within the boundaries you know of your page here and also you know be careful about borderless printing um, because you know that can move your reg marks if you don't you know make sure you understand all your print settings correctly but you, you know the other thing is that you can do is that the cut line can extend beyond the reg mark and it can even extend beyond the print boundaries so that gives you that extra room but again you know be cautious you know if you're not positive then just do a test sheet on copy paper make sure that works before you use any expensive materials okay so now then to add and well wait, one more thing I want to cover so over here let's open one of these up and when I imported these the cut um, layer is always set to cut now it's not going to um, and of course you know with cut means that it will both print and cut but when it imports these PNGs it always sets that cut layer to no fill no stroke so even though it's sending it supposedly to print it's not going to print anything because these two are set to none all right. Um, and then the print layer, of course, is set to print plus cut print. Great. That means it can't possibly cut. It's only going to print. Now then let's talk about how to add the contour um, shape around all of them. Let me select all of the shapes. OK, I've got everything selected. And then I go to effects, shadow layer. Right. And then this is where it's going to default to that 0 0.08. And of course, at this point, you want to make sure none of those cut lines are overlapping with another cut line. If they are, then you need to back up, you know, just cancel and then move your shapes, you know, so that those cut lines won't uh, intersect. So that looks good. Now then, in terms of over here, if there's any interior shapes, like you can see where there's like a little bitty cut right here inside this, uh, the you know, with the crab, I might want to go ahead and apply blackout shadow on that so that that won't cut so pay attention to that also that this is the place where you would you know turn on that blackout shadow if you have interior cuts that you don't want then here's another one this print plus cut outline this is a really good one to select 
for this application and I'll show you why. I'm going to go ahead and select it and then you know the color of the outline can be whatever you want. Um, it's, you're not going to have it set to print anyhow but you know if you don't want the really dark outline you can make it yellow or you can make it blue or whatever. But watch what happens with that print plus cut outline. Okay I'll go ahead and make it blue so it really shows up. But watch what happens to it once I click on OK. Because I had that print plus cut outline selected it didn't fill it with color because you know you because you selected an option, it knows that you're not planning on printing that blue border around the outside. So now then when you come over, you'll see that not only um, do you have, let me come all the way down here, not only do you now have this shadow layer that is all of your cut lines, and that shadow layer has now been set to print plus cut cut, which means that shadow layer, that outside contour cut, is not going to print, it's only going to cut. Meanwhile, if when you come back to any one of your animals and you select that cut line, it's now been set to print plus cut print, just like the print outline, because it knows that, well, you only want that one big cut around the outside, you no longer want to cut along the edges of the shape. So that makes it really fast to set this up. So anyway, uh, that's basically all I had to say, and if you have any questions, be sure and let me know.